Hi guys, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Jam Sessions. What this tutorial is about is about how to um, unzip all of those uh, files that we buy, be it fonts or SVGs, whatever it may be. Um, we need to first unzip them to get them into scale, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, here's my downloads folder. Okay, when you buy your... Um, when you buy any of these, be it a font or an SVG, they're going to come this way. Um, what the people are going to do, um, whoever it may be, they're going to send it to you in an email and they're also probably going to provide you a link actually on their site. So if they send you an email, what I highly recommend that you do is you keep that email. So what I did is I created a keep folder. Um, I move every one of those emails to my keep folder so that if something happens I lose this file or it gets deleted accidentally or God forbid my system crashes I know that I can go to that keep folder and pull it back up okay so what I did is I clicked on the kitty trio um, right click so this brings up my right click options menu um, this is a Windows 7 system and most all Windows um, operating systems it will uh, always have an extract tool in it um, you normally do not have to go find one um, so if you have a Windows system check to make sure in your right click options menu which means you hover over the file and you click on it um, with your right mouse key there should be something that says extract here extract you know whatever it should say that um, but I use WinRAR and what you want to do is you want to click on that and then click extract to kitty trio which will be your file name so extract to um, you know whatever you click on so this one will be extract to schoolhouse so I'm going to click on that and it will extract okay so that now came up let's see where is it at it should be up here extract to what's it called schoolhouse trio right there okay so you can do all of that or if you're really brave you can highlight all of them and then each archive to a separate folder you can do it that way but I recommend if you're new at it to just do each one individually and extract it to its own personal folder okay all right so let's click out of this and that is the same as with um, the font files too. Okay, so when you come over here, your SVG files. Okay, oops, that just pulled up the little AI files I had open. Okay, so come into your downloads, and I know I had the I have all of them extracted, but the kitty one. H I J K. there's the kitty so you open that up so there's all the different files the AIs um, I know that the our um, system will open all of those files as well but let's do the SVG ones so you open that and there comes those so you can open that again bring those in okay and this might be one where you want to do the um, the different layers okay so you can do different pages I'll get rid of this for right now if you fear you that you're not going to have enough room you can send them to the layers send them the layer page okay so now that will be on page two all right so that's how you go about pulling your SVGs in from okay so there and thank goodness this has the SVG preview so let's back up here let's come to the kitty trio it can also import our AIs okay so there's our AI okay which looks pretty much just like this one okay but it can import more than just an SVG and I want you all to be aware of that 
Um, it's not just for SVGs. Okay. All right. And then also, um, let me see our library. You can bring in your fonts. Oops, sorry. You got to click on your fonts and then you click on this. Okay. So you bring in your fonts the same way. Okay. So, um, let me think. I'm trying to remember which ones. I think this one was one. Yep. And I prefer the OTF. It just has to do with how it was created. Um, the different like sizes and that, it takes up a little less room. So that's how you go about doing that. So that's how you unzip things and import them into Scale. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, do not hesitate to ask me. Um, once again, if you, you need to hit the pause button, that's fine, go back in and revisit this, um, but as long as you can get that how to unzip down, that is the key, um, and then it's really easy to bring it in through the SVG button. Um, the trace button is really only for JPEGs. All right, guys, thanks a lot. Have a good day.